Hi, this is Ken Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum uh, here at the Kaplan Estate. If you look around, it's a 50 acre park and uh, we are selling it. So we're selling our tractor equipment. We already sold the tractor and I have all attachments here. Uh, I added it up, it's close to $30,000 worth of attachments. We're gonna have a, a, a auction to buy all the pieces as a package and we're also gonna offer it individually. If it doesn't meet the reserve one week from today for the package, then we're gonna sell these individually. And uh, I'm gonna start over here with the Land Pride post hole digger. It's a PD25 model. I have the original brochure for it right here. Um, I have the uh, actual manufacturer's brochure. Um, I'm using the mic today because it's so windy here you wouldn't be able to hear me. So um, if you look at this, this is the uh, this is the um, 25 series for 25 to 55 horsepower tractors and it'll do 6 inch up to 24 inch augers. And um, when I bought it, uh, it was brand new. Uh, the the post hole digger itself uh, and the auger and the storage stand and the um, the uh, whole package uh, are on the invoice here from Stanton Equipment. In addition to the post hole digger, uh, I have the um, snow blower right here, and, and the post hole digger actually includes the. Um, both augers, both the, the smaller auger and then the the, the uh, 24 inch auger. Okay, and all the attachments. This has only been used maybe 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 an hour total. I hardly I used this once or twice. It was a, a bad investment. I thought I'd use it to plant trees, but we never did. So um, this is a snowblower. Uh, I actually had a plow in the truck, so this hardly ever got used. Also, this is for a Cub Cadet series tractor, although it's adaptable to any tractor with a mid PTO. You just have to put a different frame on the front to mount to your tractor. Um, I have the brochure from Cub Cadet and I also have the uh, manual from Erskine right here. This was, a, I have the receipt somewhere for the for the snow blower. It's an Erskine rotary blower, very common, popular snow blower. Uh, this particular one uh, came on this, cup, this tractor right here, the Cub Cadet 7235. It was, a, um, you know, the wheels were you know, that tall, looked small in the picture, but it was a full-size tractor. It's a model 600 CFM snowblower for Cub Cadet 7000 series tractors. So this snowblower is um, in excellent condition, uh, comes with everything you need to mount it, and uh, it's pretty much ready to go. We used it last winter. It's been sitting outside, so it's a little rusty, but all the metal's in mint shape. It's just surface rust. The next item we have is a counterweight for when you're running the... Uh, uh, front end loader, or if you're using the snow blower, this goes on the back of the tractor. Uh, this is full of concrete, weighs about 500 pounds. It's extremely heavy. Uh, the next item is a rear seven foot um, drag plow, which is can be angled. Uh, five different settings on the angle, so you can actually uh, turn it around and plow backwards, or, or or pull snow going forwards. I used it on the back while I was doing the snow blowing with the tractor. It worked great, and that's in like brand new condition. Then I have a, a Land Pride uh, 25 series landscape rake. Um, this is a three point hitch attachment. These, uh, these items uh, are all uh, interchangeable, will work on any tractor made that has a three point hitch. The um, snow blower and the mid mount deck would require possibly an adapter to work with a different tractor, but everything else is, is three, hit, three point hitch uh, PTO uh, or PTO three point hitch. So this is the uh, Land Pride uh, 25 series landscape rake. It's a 2584, so it's a seven footer. And uh, I've got the brochure on that also. Um, this, uh, this particular rake is in mint condition, very, very low hours on it. Um, the rake itself was uh, 1351 plus the um, wheels were another close to $400. So there was $1,750 plus tax for this. When I bought it about 10 years ago, um, in 2004, so actually it was 12 years ago, I believe they've gone up quite a bit in uh, in price since then. It's probably uh, well over, well obviously well over $2,000 for it now. This is a real quality piece. This isn't like a, a homeowner unit. This is commercial grade. Um, and this one has seven forward positions, five angle reverse positions. It's designed for 25 to 50 horsepower tractors, 16 and a half inch rake height, Allows for moving lots of material. High carbon spring steel keeps teeth bouncing back. 
Um, and it also has the, 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 the wheels, which are adjustable. You can see I've got them flipped up so that they're not being used right now, but you can flip them down and you can adjust the depth. And I have the original manual, so it's a $2,000 rake. The, um, then I've got a, uh, this is a, um, a disc uh, angle plow uh, for grinding up the dirt once, you, once you're uh, getting ready to clear some, some land and uh, um, plant grass. This is great for, for getting everything ready. Uh, this, this cost close to $1,000 new. Um, I actually got it on sale. I think it was like $750 out the door, and I've only used it a couple times. You can see the teeth are in mint shape. Over here, I've got a Harley rake. This is a Harley box rake, model T6. Um, this is the operator's manual on this. This, is, this Harley rake um, is, uh, was manufactured by Harley and sold under the Woods brand. It's in excellent condition. I used it last year. It works beautifully. Um, the teeth are probably about 40, 50, maybe 60% left. Uh, though they are replaceable. Uh, the drum's in excellent shape, and it works beautifully. If you ever used a Harley rake, you'll know this is the best thing since sliced bread for, uh, you know, making golf course type uh, uh, land. It works beautifully. You can move a lot of dirt, levels dirt, pulls rocks out. So this is about an $8,000 item new. Um, this is in excellent condition also. The tires look brand new on it. They look like they have no use, very little use. Uh, then I've got a rotary cutter um, or flail mower. This is a rotary cutter SC uh, by Farm Force. Uh, they've been in business since 1945. It's a good quality product. Um, and this is very, very low hours use. I would say probably less than 15 hours use on that. Then I've got the mid-mount deck for the for the Cub Cadet mower. This is the 7235 mid-mount mower deck, six foot. Uh, excellent condition, no rust on it, uh, no dents on the deck. Um, no, no major uh, damage anywhere on it. It is missing the one of the the rear. This wheel needs a, a new bolt. Needs to be uh, a new bolt to mount on the back there. But everything's there to mount this to a Cub Cadet 7000 series tractor. This was close to three thousand dollars new. They're extremely expensive. The Cub Cadet attachments, and if you've got a Cub Cadet and you want to mow seven acres per hour, this is a way to do it. Six foot, six foot wingspan, seventy two inch deck. Uh, this is a plow for a four. I mean that's a. This is. This um, bumper over here is not included. That's for my 4x4 van. But, uh, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 attachments, totaling $26,000 original investment. Uh, it's going to sell to the higher, high bidder as a package. If it doesn't meet my reserve, which is very reasonable, I'm going to break this up and sell it piece by piece. Matter of fact, they'll all be auctioned off separately 24 hours later. So uh, if you want to buy the package, step up to the bar, buy the whole thing. Uh, if you're, if not, um, then they will be auctioned off individually the following day. So if you have any questions, give me a call, 860-454-7024. Good luck bidding. It's going to a great cause. We're, we're building the world's largest motorcycle museum. Uh, the farm is complete. It just needs a mower here, and we've got three zero turns, so I don't need all the equipment. We're selling it all. We're selling the farm, and we're uh, finishing the museum. So good luck bidding, and God bless.